Hey friends, Lucian here with the Bullish Bears team. Wanted to make this video on Interactive Brokers VWAP Indicator. Uh, so I want to start off with <laughs> this video by basically saying uh, this video is not to bash Interactive Brokers. It's to hopefully get their attention and let them know they're, they're in desperate need of a VWAP Indicator. It's uh, completely unusable right now. Um, and uh, I'm making this video again, not to bash them, but to hopefully get their attention uh, because if you go over here to um, Facebook, we actually have a community of about over 12,000 uh, community members here on Facebook that are traders from around the world. Um, the reason why I'm mentioning this is if you look over on our YouTube channel here, the Bullish Bears, uh, we have almost 3,800 uh, subscribers and we're growing by, by about almost 500 members a month. Now, the reason why I'm saying this is there's a lot of members. Uh, I just made this video yesterday, I believe it was, on an interactive um, brokers platform issues. And as you can see already, we already have 18 likes and... Uh, I think it's up to 42 comments now. If you look at all the comments here, these are people that are in our community that are using other bro brokers other than interactive brokers, uh, specifically for uh, things like VWAP um, and some other minor uh, bugs that need to be fixed. Uh, you can watch this video to see what um, uh, bugs that those are. But again, this video is not to bash Interactive Brokers. It's to hopefully get them to see you're losing a ton of business. So if you're from uh, Interactive Brokers, it's so important that you get these indicators fixed. Uh, I've called into CARE several times. Uh, they said they don't have a fix yet. So the reason why I'm making this so urgent for you guys to fix these issues is, again, we could bring you so much more business. We actually really like your platform, especially being um, very well known for being a great um, shorting uh, broker. You know, shorting is, you know, uh, is a big deal. A spe using VWAP for shorting is is incredibly crucial because it's another indicator to be, to see where stocks are going to pull back to or go up to potentially. And I'm going to show you the indicator, what it looks like here on Interactive Brokers, and then show you what it looks like on a company like Thinkorswim. Uh, again, I'm not showing the video for Thinkorswim because I want to uh, promote Thinkorswim. I'm going to show you uh, their charts to show you how clearly definable it is and how bad it's hurting uh, interactive brokers and how unusable it is. So I'm hopefully going to get this video to motivate interactive brokers. I reached out to them several times. I'm reaching out to their tech support and I'm just basically telling them, guys, listen, we have thousands of people that we can promote your platform to. Uh, Thinkorswim is pretty much unusable for shorting uh, unless you're shorting big stocks over $10. So interactive brokers is a great company. Company. They have good customer service. They actually have a decent platform. Uh, they're very economical, low commission rates. So there's so much that we can do to promote them, but we can't do that without having a good VWAP indicator. Uh, also to their moving average lines, uh, I believe need to be fixed too. I've noticed some bugs there and some differences between their, um, their pre and post market data. If you look over here on Thinkorswim, you'll see that there's clearly definable like uh let me go over to another stock you'll see here there's a shaded area for pre and post mark you know pre and live market data it's clearly definable if you look over on interactive brokers uh there's nothing definable uh you'll see that it's just all jumbled it's all into one you'll see here kind of going back um you know, you'll see it's all, it's not separated or shaded color difference. So that's frustrating. So again, uh, again, this video to show you their view app is not to bash them. It's to hopefully wake them up to say, please change, please get this done ASAP so we can promote you guys a lot more to our community. So let me go over here to think or swim really quick and just show you uh, some examples of view app. My view app indicator is this green dotted indicator here. You'll see here, it's clearly definable. Uh, you can see it here right at the 19 cents. You can see, we'll just pick up a few of them here. You'll see the one RAD, right Aid, clearly definable at $2.49. Uh, so stocks will move up and down and go to these, uh, to VWAP. So if a stock's overextended, it's going to naturally want to potentially pull back at some point to the EMA lines or the SMA lines, whatever you have on your charts. And then the next kind of line of defense is VWAP. VWAP's a very, very important indicator. Um, so when you're doing a lot of intraday trading, not having a VWAP indicator is 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 
Um, not good, not good to say the least. So again, show you a couple more examples here. Uh, you'll see clearly definable, clearly on the chart, very easy to see, and very uh, easy to kind of uh, protect yourself with proper risk management strategies. So you'll know, uh, you know, let's say for getting in at this stock here at a dollar forty-seven, and let's say it was to pull back potentially to a dollar forty, you know what you're risking and what it could potentially go down to. I'm not saying this is going to fall down to that amount, but you can you can get a specific dollar amount and see, you know, hey, if this stock pulls down to the 13 EMA and it potentially wants to go down here, it's a clearly definable uh, risk management strategy. So that's kind of how VWAP works. Now, if you go over to Interactive Brokers, I don't have it on my chart right now, but I'm going to add it to show you what it looks like. So I'm going to go to Edit and to Studies, and you have to type in Volume, uh, Volume Weighted, average price that's VWAP so I'm going to double click it and you'll see it has the upper and lower bands I'm going to change the VWAP to green that's just what I like and it's also on my other charts uh, hold on, let me just uh, cancel that I'm going to click on green again okay apply okay and you're going to see all these weird lines it's got the upper and lower band I'm going to remove the bands and show you it's going to hide it and you'll see I'm going to hide it again over here. So I removed the upper and lower band, and I left you with just the green uh, band. Now look at this. It's clearly undefinable. It's, um, you know, it's all going through the candlesticks. It's absolutely jumbled. So I'll give you an example. CNBX here on Interactive Brokers, if you wanted to guess where VWAP is, let's say it's 151, which is looking like where it's breaking down to, but go over to Thinkorswim and click on CNBX, and you'll see it's at clearly at 156. So VWAP on Thinkorswim is at 156, and over here it's showing at 151. How do you define your proper risk management strategies? One of them is off. And I know that, you know, from speaking with... Uh, interactive brokers that there are the ones that they are the ones that off because are that are off because they don't have a view app indicator again show you again mbrx you'll see it looks kind of i guess whatever this is you'll see it's all through the candlesticks at a dollar 99 if you go over here uh, to mbrx clearly definable at 207 again i don't need to keep showing that uh, but that's you know once interactive brokers fixes their view app uh, I'm not going to give up because, again, we're trying for our community, and there are a lot of people that are existing customers that are frustrated with them not having this indicator, and also a lot of ones that we can bring over uh, to interactive brokers that are frustrated with Think or Swim because they're uh, short of availability is is terrible that they would love to go with interactive brokers, but they can't do it. And you'll see a lot of these stocks here um, – not this morning. I'm having a little bit of some issues today, but you'll see like Agen, you know, a, a sub $4 stock is shortable. You'll see CNBX, uh, a stock, it was shortable. I was shorting it earlier. Uh, there, they did have shorts available, so it's obviously heading down right now, but they had shorts available, and that was a $1.50 stock. Uh, you can see again ACRX, let's see, you know, they're shortable, a sub $3, you know, a $3 company. Uh, iTech, I'm not sure if they are. Yeah, so it's a, a dollar company that's shortable. You wouldn't get shares to short of these companies with Thinkorswim. So I want to show you the guys this because um, Thinker, or, uh, Interactive Brokers is a great um, broker, but they absolutely need to fix this VWAP indicator. So I'm trying to get their ear not to bash them, but to hopefully motivate them. Uh, so if you're not a member of our community yet, make sure you come and join us on Facebook. We have a great group called the Bullish Bears. We have a bunch of traders from around the world, and we just love helping each other out. So make sure you come and join us.